Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. While I'm on the DIY thing here, uh, the other day I mentioned about uh, some leather working stuff and I am going to get a small leather working kit just to show you guys how little is actually needed um, to get started doing some of this stuff. But I, I often mention the $10, uh, I have not bought one in quite some time, but last I checked it was 10 bucks at Hobby Lobby. And this is one that I had bought that I had put up. But this makes one of these. And it's the same stamp that I had on my X masks. But I've had this thing for a long time. Um, I mean, my stitching's not the greatest in the world either on this guy. But I have a micro stream in there, and I wet formed a Leatherman rebar. And it's like good, good fit. And then I used the, the dark brown leather dye that's made by this same company. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm going to break that down for you in just a second. But yeah, it comes with everything. You just put it together. And I, like I said, I've got a long time out of this guy. I wear it every day still. But the kit is as follows. It, hardware included, which some people were saying they didn't know uh, some of my leather guys were saying they didn't know how they could get it with the included hardware um, for 10 bucks. But all of the holes are already in there. Everything's lined up. You just have to um, form it. And when you put it together, you'll have to wet form it to figure out where you want it, how you want your uh, flashlight to uh, line up. You know, the spacing's the same. So it comes with the pouch. All the pieces for the pouch. So it'll be like this. Then you fold this one to fit on the outside. And then this sticks off whichever side you decide to put it on. So it comes with leather, hardware, waxed cotton thread, and a needle including your instructions. So, pretty, uh, pretty handy deal here, especially for some folks that are just starting to dabble. And I know it's like, man, there's not much that somebody really has to do other than just put this thing together. Well, once you get a few uh, projects under your belt everything goes together like that you know some stuff some stuff doesn't work but that's with every, doesn't matter what you do you're going to mess up sometimes and things uh, don't jive out exactly like you plan but you just uh, you know bend a little bit and keep going uh, just go with the flow I reckon so to speak but figure it out it, you guys can do it this is a good uh, confidence booster for creating stuff. And it's uh, it's also a great piece of gear. Like I said, it's, it's done. It's been a super good one for me over the years. This would go good with, uh, you know, any EDC deal, but it goes along with the leather work and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys it's not as, it's not as intimidating uh, as it may seem now this the tooling stuff like this yeah i don't i don't know how to do that you have to that's this is like this is art too i guess but this is that's art art super art like that's above my pay grade right there for sure um maybe we'll try one day well what is a piece of leather and draw some stuff on it that'd be fun too be uh entertaining for sure but another do-it-yourself project um, relatively inexpensive that gives you a 
quality uh, piece of gear. I know a bunch of people that's got these, and the only thing, like there's several multi-tools, this thing won't fit. Some of the larger ones, it won't. Um, the rebar's tight, and like I said, I wet, I just soaked the whole thing in wet form, did in my uh, micro stream. But they were putting O lights in theirs, and they had to use a bigger piece of leather. So I know a micro stream fits good. And then the single and double triple A flashlights fit in it good. But anyway, check it out, guys. Easy, inexpensive, and a decent value, in my opinion. Well, I appreciate the support. I'm going to try to get caught up on some videos that I didn't get to do um, last week. I'm going to ease in here, and I think I'm going to spend 20 bucks on leather working stuff. And when that comes in, we'll, we'll go from there. I uh, appreciate the support, guys. Whoa, chickens roosting in the magnolia tree. It scared me. There's the rooster. God, he's ugly. But anyway, thanks for support. Um, like, follow, subscribe, check me out. My Instagram at bushcraftkelso, uh, bushcraftkelso.com for gizmos and gadgets. Thanks again, guys. Hobby Lobby, ten dollar multi-tool case kit.